Hi, this is Mike from the Film Lab on thesubstream.com, and I'd like to start this episode by apologizing if I could for the relatively poor quality of the sound in this episode. It's hotter than Satan's anus inside this studio, and we're unwilling to turn off the overhead fans, even for the five minutes it'll take to shoot this little video about screenwriting. There's like a 10 or 100 million dollar industry in teaching people how to write screenplays. There's millions of books, there's seminars, there's film schools, there's courses that you can go to, there's services that you can send your script away and have a real professional script reader person comment on them. But this is a really good little trick that I'm gonna show you, a card trick that'll help kickstart your writing, help you organize your ideas, and I can explain it all in under five minutes. Watch. So every script in theory starts with the blank page. You open up Caltex or Final Draft and you're presented with that little blinking cursor waiting for you to write, start writing on the first scene of your big screenplay idea. Well, in my opinion, the best scripts, including ones that I've written, like Space Bomb, The Cry Cry Girls, The Big Wiener Patrol, they all start not with a blank page, but with a pile of blank index cards. So here's what you do. You get a marker or a pen and a stack of blank cards, and on the first of the blank cards, you write down in one sentence and absolutely no more the entire story of your film's script idea. Rogue archeologist saves Earth by finding the Ark of the Covenant and stopping the Nazis from using it. And then you put it down on a table like so. Then you take three more cards and rewrite the story of your film in three sentences. Rogue archeologist hired to find the Ark of the Covenant before the Nazis can. And you put it like so, underneath the first sentence. Rogue archeologist farts around in the desert and finds the Ark, but the Nazis steal it. Rogue archeologist outwits the Nazis and saves the day. So what you do is you take your three sentence version of your story, one, two, three, and lay it out in a row underneath the one sentence version of your story, which is here, beginning something that looks uncannily like a pyramid. And then you take another bigger stack of cards, seven or eight this time if you want, and rewrite your story in seven or eight sentences so that you get a version that's more finer grained and more detailed than the one that you just wrote. So you start by saying, Rogue archaeologist, let's call him Indy. Indy goes to Nepal to find his old mentor, but the dude's dead and his mean daughter has the headpiece that he needs. Okay. Indy and mean daughter go to Egypt and meet Sala. Okay. Sala, a good digger, and Indy find the ark and some snakes. Yep. Indy and Mean Daughter and Sala the Good Digger try to escape with the Ark, but the Nazis steal it. You gotcha. Uh, Indy hides on a submarine. Um, Indy is captured and so is the Mean Daughter. Uh, Nazis open the Ark and melt. So you can see where I'm going with this. You start out with your story told in one sentence. And you divide that into three sentences. Then you divide those three sentences into eight sentences, those eight sentences into 24 sentences, those 24 into 60, and so on. You keep subdividing your story, making it more detailed and more finely grained until you end up with about 100 or 110 individual cards, which you can use to represent pages in your ultimate screenplay. So that if you start out with something like Rogue Archaeologist Saves the Earth, you can end up, after doing all of these cards, with something that says, Mean natives shoot at Indy with blow darts. You don't have to start your script from the beginning, from a blank page. You can start from the absolute fundamental one sentence version of your story. Then just keep subdividing it and dividing it and dividing it into finer and finer bits, into finer and finer beats, inventing characters, details, and dialogue as you go along. And eventually you'll find that once you have 90 or 100 cards, the final script is going to actually be pretty easy to write. You'll be amazed once you start doing this card trick thing how quickly and how easily you can crank out a full feature length story. Of course, you will end up spending a lot of money at Grand and Toy on uh, index cards because it's very paper heavy, this method. But it's worth it. And thank you for watching and check back soon for more videos on filmmaking type stuff. It's so hot in here. My brain is coming out of my butt.